Hello, welcome to episode 314. We're going to be making flu powder from Harry Potter. Uh, I've used paper. You can use gunpowder if you want. You can use any item. Uh, what we're doing is we get some paper and we rename it. So you'll see that I have red and I have one called green and I have just normal paper. So I go to the anvil, I rename it red or green and that's going to be my destination. So if I throw a piece of red in here... I'm going to come out in the red one. If I throw a piece of green in, I'm going to come out the green one. If a name is unrecognized or the paper or whichever item you want has no name, you will just stay in the fireplace where you threw it and you'll start burning because you're in the fireplace too long. You don't burn as long as you go through quickly. Hey, it's the wizarding world. It's supposed to be a bit dangerous. So that's what we're going to be making. We're in version 1.19. And as I said, you can have as many fireplaces as you like. And each one just has a different name. So as the player explores, or you want to unlock an area, you could say, oh, you've just unlocked um, Snape's office. Uh, and and you give them a code, and they come along, and they rename their piece of paper to Snape's office. And they throw it in, poof, off they go. Anyway, enough waffling. You can decide how you want to change it as much as you like. Let's get on and make it now. All right, uh, today we don't need any scoreboard objectives, so I'm not gonna make any, but I wanna give myself a marker. Uh, I've already prepared my fireplaces. Now, if fireplaces can be anything you like, in fact, technically, you don't even need a fire there, but we'll see that in a second. First, I'm gonna give myself uh, a little spawn egg so I can create fireplace markers. So we'll just say, give egg. And this will give at nearest player a slime spawn egg or any egg you want. Display in the display, I'll give it a name, apostrophe, apostrophe. And the name will consist of some text, and the text will be a marker fireplace. Yep. And, and the important thing, we need the entity tag. Entity tag will be ID. He's not happy. Why is he not happy? We'll find out in a minute. ID Minecraft marker and tags. Marker fireplace. Okay, let's have a look to find out why it's not happy. Usually it's just a silly spelling mistake or the wrong button. Okay, so it's probably fine with the spawn egg here. Yeah. Display open for name. That's okay. Open for the text and fireplace. That looks all right. Then after that, we should close the text. Close the name. So is it this? Is this a full stop? Yeah, that was a full stop, not a comma. Okay, there we go. So it's happy now. Done. I give myself one of them. I'm going to copy the fireplace because we're going to get rid of it. And I need a slab, so I use that one. And I put a slab there. And I put a slab there. And I'm going to put my marker on that slab. Uh, well, it should be there. We can't see it. Let's make ourselves a little uh, temporary command so we can see markers. Show markers. Are done. And let's put a little lever on top of that. Execute at any entity. Tag equals marker fireplace run particle dust. What color should we have it? Let's have it red, uh, full red, no green, no blue, size of one. Um, at those coordinates, we'll make it small on the X, small on the Y, and small on the Z. We'll have a speed of zero and a particle count of one. We'll make it repeating and we'll turn the lever on. Let's just have a look. Oh, uh, cool. Yep, our markers are there. Okay, let's turn that back off then. Don't need that now. And let's put the fires back in. Okay, 
So we don't need that, that, or that. Right. Now all we need is the controller. Okay. Right, I was going to use gunpowder for this. Because, you know, powder. Flu powder. Uh, but then I thought, would it be more interesting if we could change destinations? So I thought I'd use paper. And I still call it flu powder, because if I call it flu paper, I think people are going to be thinking of wiping their bums. So I changed it. I kept the name. Let's make a controller. Controller. In fact, I think I'm going to make two controllers. I'll make another controller here. Uh, I will rename this one. This will be controller main. And this one is only going to have a little job. Controller flames. Okay, we could make this controller part of this chain. I'm just going to keep it separate just to uh, simplify the commands a tiny, tiny bit. They're both going to be repeating. Right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to check if someone is throwing paper into the fire. If they are throwing paper into the fire, we maybe want to play a sound. Uh, I want to change the campfire into the soul campfire and we want to activate the uh, new flame effect so we'll start with that so let's execute at any entity type equals marker tag equals marker fireplace as any entity type equals item Distance equals naught to, let's say, about 0 0.5, so they have to throw it on top of the fire. Um, MBT equals, and I want to check if it's a piece of paper, any paper to start with. So item ID, the ID would be Minecraft paper. Is there a piece of paper? If there is a piece of paper, then run tag that piece of paper, add check me so we're going to name that piece of paper check me after we've named the piece of paper to check me let's go back in here go home because i kind of want to copy all of this really we'll do the same check again copy all of that execute at the marker the marker fireplace yes at the marker fireplace okay we've got at at clearly we don't want that that's bit silly so we're going to execute as the marker tag marker fireplace at itself if entity any entity type equals item tag equals check me distance oopsie distance equals not to not oops two two dots not to 0.5 so if there is now a piece of paper that has been tagged with check me we will also tag the marker run tag at s add in use okay We're done and i'm going to use that tag to control if we show the flames so let's execute at any entity whose tag equals in use run particle uh, I'll use an entity effect I think um, and we'll lift it up a little bit 0.5 um, so let's make it about 0 0.5 0 0.9 quite tall 0 0.5 um, a speed speed of 0 0.5 maybe and a count of zero. Seems weird for the, the entity effect is a strange one. Count of zero. In fact, let's have a quick little look at this entity effect by itself. Let's copy that. Let's get myself one of them and put it here. Paste it back in and play this two above. Let's turn it on. Okay, so that's what we've got going on. Now, if we change the count to one, it, it doesn't really change the count. It all just goes very weird. It's also there. Oh, I'm going to stop listening to what color you want or anything. I'm just going to play random stuff. So that is why we have the count set to zero. Okay. 
And I'm also going to play... Uh, I think I'll play some dust as well, get a bit more colour going on. So we could just copy all of that. Copy. And we'll paste it in here. And we'll remove entity effect. And I'll play some dust. I want a sort of a, a bluish colour. So let's go half red, a lot of green. Um, and I suppose a lot of blue as well. 0.9 for the blue yeah maybe we'll try that uh, a size of one and we'll play it at the coordinates but we'll lift it up a bit again lift it up 0.5 and uh, how big do i want it let's say about 0.2 a little bit taller though 0.3 0.2 on the z and speed of zero count of 10. You're done Okay, so let's turn that on. Let's turn that on and let's make ourselves a reset line as well. So what are we doing? We're creating a piece of paper, a tag for the piece of paper. So we better remove that first. This will be my reset. This is temporary just for while we're uh, playing around and designing it. So let's, let's kill the paper. We might as well just kill it. Kill any entity tag equals check me so that will get rid of the paper but we've also got a tag on the fireplace so we've tagged the fireplace marker with in use so let's remove that tag as well tag any entity with the tag in use remove in use now we should have a bit of a reset there okay let's get a piece of paper like I've set myself up a little command here. It just gives myself some paper. There we go. And let's chuck... Are we both on? We're both on. Let's chuck paper in on top. That looks pretty cool. Okay, yep. And it's going to work for every single one. Fantastic. Let's check our reset. Okay, all gone back to normal. Seems good. Right, okay. Uh, next, I don't want the player picking up that piece of paper because I'm going to use it later. So I want that paper to stay. So let's give that paper a pickup delay so players can't pick it up. So let's execute as any entity whose tag equals check me. And we will run data modify that en entity itself. And we'll modify its pick up delay and we'll set that set value and we'll set it to its highest value which i believe is three two seven six seven so now the player can't pick it up okay and i think what we're going to do with these if this one runs then i think we'll make these all conditional so we're only going to do these if this first one's running so it finds the paper adds the check then it tags the fireplace then it stops us picking up the paper. Then let's play a sound because we want sounds. We'll make this conditional as well. We will execute at any entity whose type equals marker, tag equals, what did we say, in use? Yeah, we will run play a sound. Um, I think they're probably with a shooting or actually blaze shooting might be a bit better. Blaze entity dot blaze dot shoot played on the master channel for all players at the coordinates um let's lower its volume just a little bit not point eight let's change its pitch a bit not point four and we'll put zero for its minimum volume okay so now we'll play a sound and and i'm going to change the campfire as well actually so let's Let's change the campfire for the blue campfire. So this will also be conditional. And if you press done, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna copy this beginning bit. Copy, paste it in. So execute at the marker uh, the, and it's in use. We will run set block at those coordinates and we'll change it to a sole camp, campfire. There we go. Replace. Done. Now we'll have to change our little reset a bit in a minute, but let's have a try. Let's see what happens. So that's pretty cool and a nice sound effect. Nice. 
I like that. Now the paper should still be in there. I haven't I haven't said dye paper. Right, let's change this a bit. So we're removing in use. Let's shift middle mouse and copy that and put it here. And before we remove that tag, let's go here and get that home copy. So that's changing it to the sole campfire. Can we just paste this in here and just change it back to a normal campfire? Okay, yeah, we've got a good reset going on there. Excellent. Okay, now it's ready. It's ready for the player to get in. We've, they've come along, they've thrown in their paper. The fire is now ready for them to go in and teleport. So let's start working on that. One of the first things I think I'm going to want to do is give the player some sort of fire resistance. Otherwise, they're going to burn every time they go through. Um, yeah, we don't really want that. So next, let's work on some fire resistance. Now, this will have to be unconditional because the papers, the, the player has thrown the paper in and we don't know that they're not going to be standing in the fire. We don't know when it's going to run. So this is going to have to be constantly running to check. So we'll execute at any entity. Well, that's not very good. Can't even spell the word at today. Execute at any entity whose type equals marker, whose tag equals in use as any player the distance equals let's say naught to naught oh it's a bit bigger actually we want the fire resistance enough time to kick in before they step in the fire so let's say 1.5 um run effect give that player fire resistance fire resistance Ooh, I said probably one second might be enough. We can extend the time later if it's not enough. Okay, so we've given them fire resistance. Done. Um, and now I want to I want to tag the fireplaces as being used because there's a player in the fireplace now. So let's let's copy this beginning bit again. Home copy. Let's execute. At type equals marker, tag is in use. In fact, we're going to change this. We're going to say as the type equals marker, tag equals in use. At, in fact, we'll get rid of all of that end bit. At itself, if entity, any player, a distance of 0 to 1.5. Actually, no, we want closer. The original check was 0 0.5. So if there is a player standing inside the fireplace, run, tag the fireplace with used. Okay, now it's being used. Done. Um, what do we want to do now? I want to tag the player that's teleporting, I think. So we will execute as any entity type equals marker tag equals used as any player the distance equals naught to 0 0.5 run tag that player add teleporting that seems all right and i think what we'll do is we'll make this conditional okay because that one only has to run if this one runs so no, that should work okay so now the now the player is tagged with teleporting now we have a problem if if we teleport the player then play a sound the player will get the sound but anyone left at the fireplace won't get the sound. So we, we're going to play a sound at the original fireplace first. So this will be for any players who are left behind. The player who's teleporting won't hear this sound. So let's make this conditional as well. And we will execute at um, any entity whose type equals marker, whose tag 
equals used and we will run play sound entity you can pick whatever sound you like obviously dot enderman dot teleport we'll play it on the master channel uh, for all players at those coordinates one one zero okay now in my version i will hear that sound because i if i teleport from here to here the sound is going to be played here i'm so close i'll hear it but if i was further away that's when we need to, to play the extra sound and i'm going to do some smoke puffs as well why not we'll do some smoke puffs uh let's see I reckon we can just copy this beginning bit, execute at type marker, tag equals used, run. Yeah, we'll copy all of that. Copy, done. I'll put that down. I'll make it conditional. I'll paste that bit in there. And I will run a particle, particle, poof. I'll lift it up a bit. I'll make it quite thin, 0.2. Let's make it quite tall though, 0.4, 0.2. Now we'll have a speed of zero and a count of 100. Done. And the last thing is I'm going to set the fireplace back to a normal fireplace. And in fact, I think we're already doing that with our reset. I think that's probably the exact command we need. So we'll copy that. And let's go back. So we will execute at type marker, tag equals in use, run. Tag equals in use? No. Tag equals used. Run set block campfire replace. Okay. And do we want that to be conditional? Yes, we do. Conditional. Done. Okay. Now I think we're going to need to get minion on at some. Let's open this to LAN. Open to LAN. Creative. Allow to use start LAN world. And then at least we can get minion. That way we can test that everything's working. Um, so we'll just get him joining. Right, hello, there we go. Right, nothing scary happening to you today. Right, okay. So let's let's see what happens. Well, I'm not going to teleport. Let's throw that in. That's in. Let's get in. Okay, there's nothing really happening. Let's do that. Let's check. Tag player remove I haven't got any tags okay let's have another little check got the fire hmm okay nothing happening there let's have a little look I haven't even been tagged have I so let's do tag at P remove so I'm not even getting that tag um, am I getting any fire resistance let's stand in the fire I am getting the fire resistance okay and has our marker been tagged with used tag that's any entity type equals marker sort equals nearest remove it's got in use and it's got used so it's been given the used tag okay let's oh well, running strangely then so let's have a look see what used fire resistance that worked yes did we add the tag used yes we did so this seems to be the first command that failed. Execute as type marker tag equals used. Mm, yeah, as any player who's a distance of 0 to 0 0.5. Well, that looks all right. Run tag s add teleporting. So we didn't even get that. Why are we not getting that tag? That's very strange, isn't it? And we were standing right on the marker. We've checked that it's got the right tags. Uh, <laughs> tag, mount any entity, type equals marker, sort equals nearest, remove. It's definitely got the three tags. And I am definitely getting fire resistance. 
tag at p remove and I haven't got any tags I am not being given that tag okay let's do a reset well I'm very confused why I'm not getting that tag we're not removing it are we we're, we're changing the campfire we're doing a puff particle we're doing a sound and we're adding a tag execute as okay here's the problem execute as type marker tagged used at all players distance of 0 to 0 0.5 I'm not saying where I'm running the command so this distance of 0 to 0 0.5 is probably checking uh, from this command block right so what we're gonna have to do is change this to execute at I bet some of you saw that and thought he's gonna have a problem later I won't tell him I'll just let him deal with it thanks okay let's go check now let's chuck the paper in okay <laughs> it's not much better uh, I should save this command so I don't have to keep typing it any entity type equals marker sort equals nearest remove yes you've got all your tags let's just run that so it's there there for later I don't have my tag still hey why don't I have my tag we know that runs because we've seen the used ah maybe it still had the used tag from before maybe I should do a re check me Camp we're not removed we don't have anything here saying removed in our reset saying remove that use tag so it's trying to give the use tag to the marker and it's just saying it's already got the marker and the command is failing and because this command is failing this conditional command won't run okay now after that explanation I hope I'm right let's change this to used and let's change this to used so we'd added stuff and not completed our reset done okay now I feel quite confident there we go so that was the problem I've had that problem before with other things and it's confused me for a long time so our reset was wrong throw the paper in so we get in we get the sound we get the puff and the campfire changes back okay didn't work again so we've got a problem with our reset let's let's in use used it's still got that used and I don't have teleporting let's have a look tag any player remove okay now here's our problem now our problem is our reset isn't removing the teleporting tag from me okay so let's put this in here and do tag all players remove teleporting so it's exactly the same problem as before so we were getting here and it was saying oh there's a the tag that's fine then it was getting to me and it was saying you've already got the tag teleporting I can't give it to you again therefore I have failed and then so this this and this don't run okay let's make sure we press the reset let's throw the paper in let's go in okay there we go let's try let's try the reset throw the paper in perfect and the campfires changed back oh, we're not changing we're not saying it's not in use okay that's that stuff we're all going to do at the end of the commands I think we're good I think it's time to teleport the player to the next camp to the next campfire right these could be anywhere my campfire is here so I think I want to teleport the player onto this campfire hopefully the fire resistance is enough but let's do a fill tab 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 and we'll copy those coordinates and actually I'm just gonna paste them into chat as well just in case now I want to come out facing the right direction so which way is this if we look up in the top left I can see I'm my yaw is let's say 180 pitch of zero okay or if we do f3 down in the middle there well let's clear my chat so you can see down in the middle facing north and these two numbers at the end 
we we'll just change that to 180 and zero. Okay. Now we're going to do a bit of teleporting. And this is going to be always active. Now I, the reason I changed to paper and not gunpowder, if we put gunpowder in, we're always going to go to the same place. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we could go to different places? Because the idea is you, you, you throw your flu powder in and you shout where you want to go. Now, obviously, the player can't sit at home shouting. Minecraft's not going to know. So I thought, well, we could rename a piece of paper. And that's, that's how we shout. So we're going to read the name of the piece of paper and teleport them to the corresponding location. So we'll execute at any entity whose type equals marker whose tag equals used as any entity, or we could probably do if entity, whose type equals item, whose tag equals check me. See, we're looking at that paper. That's why I didn't want them to pick it up earlier. Whose limit of one, the sort equals nearest, a distance equals naught to 0 0.5. And if all of those checks passed, then we'll check the, what's written on the paper. MBT equals, and I want to check the item. And on the item, I want to check a tag. And the tag I want to check will be its display. And in its display, I want to check its name. And name apostrophe apostrophe and curly brackets what did we put for its name uh, this will be items that are renamed in an anvil text okay we've definitely got a mistake there i can see it it's round name we don't need these extra that one and that one okay i just pause pause on that command there for a moment so you can have a little look at that so you can fix that mistake uh but let's call it, where are we going? We're going to the red one. Let's call it red. R-E-D, red. Done. I'm just going to check. So we picked the coordinates of this one, didn't we? And it is red. Okay. So we're executing at the fireplace as a piece of paper. If its name is red, yes, as all players whose tag equals teleporting and since we're playing around with teleporting on a repeating command i'm going to add my usual tag equals not dev there then if i get stuck in an infinite teleport i can give myself that tag run tp that player to the coordinates we saved and what direction we wanted facing 180 zero okay done have we added anything extra that we need to account for in our reset? I don't think so. Now we're going to have the problem that when I go in here, I am going to be tagged as teleporting and I might well get stuck in that infinite loop. But let's have an experiment and see what happens. Let's throw in the paper. Okay. What's going to happen? Well, I'm still in the fireplace because I haven't renamed my paper. So let's go over here. You're having it easy today, aren't you? Let's go over here and what we'll do is we'll take 25 of those and we'll rename them red. So you can use any name you like, as long as the name in the command matches what you've written on the paper. So you could say this would be a way if you can unlock places for the map by you could say, oh, you have unlocked a new fireplace. The fireplace's name is, I don't know, Evil Castle. And then the player has to come along and rename their paper evil castle obviously it's case sensitive and it has to be spelt correctly i'm just gonna call mine green okay so let's try our red one so this is me getting in the fire and shouting red oh ha, ha, ha. Ooh, okay i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm stuck because i'm not removing the teleporting tag that's fine don't worry we'll be removing that later so i've got two ways to free myself i can tag myself and add the dev that's why we put that in or i could have removed my teleporting tag which this should be doing yeah 
So let's do the reset and let's remove that dev tag from me. Okay, there we go. If you're playing with teleporting, it's always nice to have something like a dev tag. Okay, so if it equals red, we went to the red one. Uh, we're just, and now is where we're going to put in every single check for every single fireplace. So let's do green. Fill, tab, tab, tab. And I'm just going to copy that. Copy. And I'm just going to paste it into chat. Because I'm going to... I might want to copy something else. So we've got it in chat. Let's just pick up this block. Control, middle mouse. Whack it down. And basically this is now going to be our next fireplace. So we're going to change the location to the ones we just said. Okay, we put that in. Uh, the direction is the same because this fireplace is facing the same direction. And then the only other thing we should need to change is the name. So we're looking for green. Done. Okay. That should work. We'll test that in a minute. Let's do a bit more. Otherwise, we're going to have to keep giving ourselves a dev tag. When I arrive, I want to play a sound and play the smoke particles. Because I want, I want the people who were at the original fireplace to see particles and hear the sound. And I want people and myself at the arriving, the destination fireplace, to have particles and a sound. So we do a check. We do a check. Those are all unconditional. Okay. So now we will do another execute at all players whose tag equals teleporting. That's still us. Run particle. Boof. Um, at the coordinates, but we lifted it up a little bit, I think, didn't we? One. Uh, 0 0.2, we had it a little bit higher, maybe 0 0.4, 0 0.2. And we had a speed of zero and a count of 100. Uh, done. And then we're going to, again, execute at any player whose tag equals teleporting. This time we're going to run play sound entity dot enderman dot teleport on the master channel for all players at those coordinates full volume full pitch minimum volume of zero done okay so we've arrived we've played the particles we've played the sound i think it's just tidy up now yeah, let's tidy everything up. So if you do play that sound, the player has arrived, conditional. We will tag any entity whose tag equals used. Let's remove that tag. Uh, yeah, let's make another one. We will tag any entity whose tag equals in use. Let's remove that one, done. We will kill the piece of paper. Kill any entity, tag equals check me. And we better make sure right at the end, and we'll, this one is not gonna be conditional. We will tag all players with the tag, teleporting, remove, teleporting otherwise we're stuck in that infinite loop done okay i'm feeling relatively confident i'll tell you what i might do well i'll do a little test myself first so right we've got green we've got red throw red in i go to red okay throw green in i go to green if i throw green in to the green fire i just go back to green here's a question though that is worth asking what happens if I throw an unnamed piece of paper in there? Well, it's put that into my inventory, hasn't it? Hey, hey, you stole my paper. You were closer, cheeky. Okay, that is the disadvantage of the app P. Okay. If we chuck unnamed paper in there, it's all going to have the similar effect. It's going to pretend to teleport me, 
but I'm just going to stay in exactly the same place. So everything, sort of all the same effects, all resets and everything, but effectively the teleportation fails. And I think that's fine. That's just like getting into the fireplace and not saying anything. It doesn't know where you want to go. So it doesn't send you anywhere. Okay, minion. Let's, we want to check that the particles work for both players. So let's give everything to minion. Come here, minion. Take the red and take the green. And I'll stand here and watch. I'll stand here. All right. And you take a piece of red and throw it in. Okay, that looks good. We've got particles on both sides. Okay, if particles are playing on both sides, then since the sounds are playing in the same place as the particles, we can be pretty confident they're working. Uh, chuck in your green, test that. It's good. Oh, see, let's just see him fly through the middle there. Can you do that game? Do we do get to see you fly through the middle? <laughs> okay, get out of the fire. Okay, right. One last thing to check, our fire assistance. Um, can I have those pieces of paper back, please? Uh, how do I throw the entire stack? Is it shift Q, isn't it? There we go. Did you just throw them back to me? Or they just get deleted. You just deleted them. Oh, you're not, you're not any use. Okay, let's go and rename some more then. Oh, I just deleted them. You deleted my flu paper. Red. Green. Okay, right. Let's go into survival. Here we go. And uh, we've got red. Let's chuck this in. Have we got enough time to go through and come out the other side without burning? Yes. Okay. What about if we stay in there for a little bit? Oh, okay. Flu powder. You know, it's the wizarding world. It's dangerous. You know, all sorts of things happen. It's not, people die all the time in Harry Potter's world. I think getting a little bit burnt by using the flu, the flu, what is it? The flu network, isn't it? There's no problem there. You've got time. If you're quick, you've got time. And if you wanted, you could, you could extend the fire resistance. And I won't be able to do it because I'm not in creative. We have to, uh, we have to now try and remember which one of these blocks was fire resistance. I'd imagine it's about, Back here, is it? No, that's teleporting. That's far too far. We're back here somewhere then. That's replacing. Okay, it's the next one. So we could just give it to them to longer. But I think one second's fine. You know, just don't hang around in the fireplace. It makes perfect sense, you know. But if you wanted to, you could give them more resistance. Okay, it all looks good. And as I said, these two blocks here, you could literally just tag on the end if you wanted, so they're always running. Uh, I just put them off there because then this is a long enough chain. It's confusing enough. Why make it more confusing? <laughs> um, and let me tell you what, if you wanted, you could turn it off and the whole thing will still work. It's just, you don't now have those. The only difference is you don't have those two little colored particles. Still works. All right, so you should be able to add as many fireplaces as you want. Now, there is a limitation. You are executing at markers and things, so I think you're probably going to have a problem if the fireplace you're teleporting to is in um, unloaded chunks. Because what's going to happen then is you're going to teleport to unloaded chunks, and then the marker you were at won't be loaded anymore, and therefore it might have a problem switching the fireplace back. It might have a problem... It Actually, I think it does that before you teleport. No, it doesn't. No, so you will have a problem. Unless it stays loaded just long enough. Um, are there ways around that? Yes. I mean, the spawn chunks are massive. I believe it's it's 18 by 18 chunks or something. Or in the newer versions, I think it's configurable. If you didn't want that, what you could do is just force load each chunk that's got a fireplace in it. For a map, it's going to be absolutely fine. If you, Obviously, if you're running a server, you don't want to go around force loading a, a million fireplaces. But, that's an, I'm rambling again. I always do it, don't I? I'm rambling again at the end. That is how we make some Harry Potter, well, as I'm calling it now, flu paper. We chuck it in the fire. We shout it where we want to go. I want to go to red. I'm in red. We shout that one. In we go. I like it. I like it quite a bit. It's quite fun. Anyway. There we go. That's nice. be quite helpful if you're building a Harry Potter map. Otherwise, 
it's just a bit interesting. Obviously, you don't have to have the fireplace. You don't have to have all the particle effects. You could strip all of that out and just have them chuck a piece of paper in a hole and just teleport them to whatever they've written on the paper. You can adapt the, the, the system to whatever you want. Right, I've kept you here for far too long. I'm sorry. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care. Uh, have a nice time. Bye-bye. <laughs>